How you doing? Welcome back. It's Mac, and I've uh, decided to continue my Space Marine playthrough. So welcome, welcome again. It's been a few days. Chapter six: Lair of the Giants is where we left off. Our objective: we'll reach the Titan Manufactorum. Get to Manufactorum Ajacus to secure the Titan War Machines. Last, a place the orcs have not stained. For now, I doubt even dropping that cannon off would convince orcs to back away. Indeed, we must find this Inquisitor and the Titan Invictus. Captain Titus, a man of few words. Straight to the point. Double time this. It's a long hallway. Oh my goodness, it's Sunday afternoon. Uh, pardon me, Sunday morning for me right now. Don't talk to me about quarters. Still got a whole day until I need to go back to work, you know? I gotta say, this game is really held up visually. Like, it wasn't stunning when it first came out, way back in 2011, but it looked good. It was a decent, above average looking game. Maybe not as pretty as Gears of War 3, which came out uh, a month after this one did. Titan Invictus seems undamaged at least. Titan Invictus seems unused, you mean? Is this invasion not enough to bring out the War Titans? It takes hundreds to get a war titan operational, Sergeant. Without them, it sits idle. The sequel, Space Marine 2, I think is going to blow my socks off when I actually have it in my hands and I'm playing it in real time on my own PC. Because the gameplay videos I've seen of the game so far have just been stunning. Absolutely stunning. I was initially worried that, you know, because the franchise changed hands from Relic to, who are they, Focus? Focus Interactive? Saber Interactive, pardon me. Focus is the publisher. Because the franchise changed hands, I was a little bit worried, and there's like, you know, that long span of time, so many years have passed. I was afraid this new studio would have lost the plot, but uh, I think it's in very good hands, so I'm really looking forward to the sequel. But for now, we're taking a trip down memory lane. Station. I can scan for the Inquisitor's life signs. Access authorized. There, a lone human. Identity confirmed. Drogon. Drogon. Ordo Xenos. He's in this wing of the Manufactorum. I read alien signals throughout the facility, and a large number converging on the Inquisitor's location. Uh -huh. The orcs have reached the Western Territories. That's close, Caleb. Not when all the planetary defenses and the Skitari stand between us and them. <laughs> First you don't believe there's an invasion, and now you're not worried about it at all. Lilith, we have a far better chance of being killed on the assembly line than by a faraway orc. Workers, take your stations. Be productive. Be dutiful. The, the guy is probably right about that, except when there's orcs in the vicinity, I'd be worried about the orcs before uh, a workplace accident. The orcs are the workplace accident waiting to happen.
Go to the edge. Nothing. I want to look down the, the pit, but there's a, a something block in my view, actually. <laughs> it's not a pit, though. It's just basically a small elevator shaft. Well, I'm gonna call it a small. to contact our other forces. Not directly, but I can boost Vox range. Do it. Access authorized. Ultramarines chapter. Here, Captain. Ultramarines, this is Captain Titus. Are you receiving? Captain, this is Sergeant Midas. Squad Solidus is on the ground and making for our objective. New orders, Midas. We are at Manufactorum Ajakis and have located the Titan Invictus. I need Solanus to come secure the Invictus while I divert to a priority alarm. On our way, Captain. Midas out. There's something kind of aggressive and even dirty about <laughs> saying that name, Ajakis. It's just me. They just keep giving me ammo, but I haven't been fighting anyone. But now we will. Kill one. Oh. Oh. Rest in peace. So this... Uh, I don't want to backtrack for ammo, so... Keep pushing forward. Forward mo momentum. What's up here? Nice. Transmission to Inquisitor Lord Sharp. My lord, the research facility is operational ahead of schedule, thanks to the tech priests. I've already begun my work to create a stable energy matrix. Harnessing these unorthodox energies is proving more promising than I could have dreamed. You know this, uh, Drogon fellow is up to no good. Absolutely no good. But he's an Inquisitor. So, um, actually, I've got a phone call. So I'll have to make a cut and quick edit. I'll be right back. A few moments later. Hello, let's get going again. I have to take a phone call. But I'm back. Second there, I was wondering, are you even moving? Or what's moving? What's coming? 
<laughs> it's like, look up. Give it that. The the game does a lot of auto saving. I'll give it. I'll give it that. It's good. Repeat authorization. Drogon, prepare the power source for immediate release. One moment. Master. There he is. All safety protocols. Speak clearly. Ah. Repeat authorization. Is it a Drogon? I am Drogon. And you are... Captain Titus of the Ultramarines. We received your distress call. But you seem to have weathered the enemy's attack. I am soldier and scientist, both, Captain. What is the status of the experimental device? The power source. It's running the entire manufactorum from the generator room. This device is a fuel source, not a weapon? It is a complex device and an unstable one. If the orcs find it, they'll try and take it apart. It could detonate with enough force to destroy the entire planet. Then we must move it to safety. And for that, Captain, I need your aid. This way. You are wounded, Inquisitor Drogon. I'm a psycho. My psychic abilities are controlling the bleeding. Very well. How convenient. Can we shoot some orcs now? Xenos life bombs detected. We got the boss. Uh, you try to steal my giants? Steal my loot? I'll rip your guts right out of your throat! The orc himself is a little angry. Check these side hallways. Just me. Oh. We can go around here to the door, but before we do that, we have some pickups. Drops. Grenades, yes. Regular ammo. More ammo. Okay, I think that's it. this before it's really good to get this boots on the ground view of these uh, forge worlds these manufactorums 
downside is that you know the orc has oh. a scent for us now. Damnable creature. <laughs> Had he not blundered onto this world. But he did, Drogon. Damnable. Uh I don't want to talk over the uh characters, but uh yeah. Downside of having these uh Forge World as your environment is that it gets repetitive. Just seeing giant gears girders everywhere and steam pipes machinery it all gets kind of kind of blends together after a while visual variety is a little lacking am i doing grenades have full grenades this game this lets you pick up grenades and ammo if, even if you're full so that's kind of kind of bad oh it's a nice upgrade i think Plasma pistol unlocked. The MK3 Sun Fury plasma pistol fires balls of superheated plasma. It can fire quick shots or a powerful charged blast. This weapon permanently replaces your bolt pistol. You fire, you hold fire to charge shot, and you can vent the heat. There. More ammo. Wait, where do I go? It's went around a circle. <sighs> See? It just lets you pick up pick up all the ammo. Go back up. Switch to a uh, vengeance launcher real quick here. Oh, he's dead already? Come on. Expected more from you. Shit. Yep, sure does. <laughs> There we go. These elevators take a while to uh, react. That's what I've noticed. The elevator, the game is loading in the background. How much deeper does this facility go? The manufactorum? Far deeper. The whole generator room is actually suspended above a venting shaft. Suspended? Yes. In case of catastrophic overload, the whole room can be shunted away into the depths. Nice uh, lighting change. That's cool. Ah, yes. Here we are. Colder than a space with a smile in here. Yes, a byproduct of the device's functioning. Let's not forget the somewhat underrated uh, musical score. Chili. You see a ladder in a game, immediately try to climb it. <laughs> There's no climbing ladders.
Captain Titus, Get to proceed Jennifer. into the main chamber. We need only obtain the power source at the core of the generator. I will initiate decoupling from a control console. Understood. Brothers, guard the access points. I have engaged the decoupling sequence, Captain. You must keep the chamber secure until the power source is exposed. Identity confirmed. Drogon. I forget where they all come from. Warning. Primary containment fixtures engaged. There. The primary shield is open, Captain. Head into the central chamber. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm, this, this, this part's coming back to me a little bit. I'm doing the execution. Now, head over to the Servitor station and activate it. It will retrieve the power source and get it into its canister. He's just continually firing on me. Oh, and, the, and I'm on the open. Now, head over to the Servitor station and activate it. I do this all over again? Oh, God. And get it into its canister. Oh, this from the part two. Oh my goodness. 
Okay. Hit the hit the panel there. There we go. There's this next part. I gotta figure out. I got my fury in the, in the pocket. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Gosh. Do not waste time, or else I would get blasted to bits from the war boss. Gently. Gently. Sidonus, Leandros, respond. Captain, the Inquisitor insisted you could not have survived. Well, I did, and I have his precious power source. We set a rendezvous in Hap Center Andris. These tunnels will spit us out there eventually. Fine. Continue heading toward the Hab Center. <laughs> Said you would not survive, but I did. Let's, you know, it's like, get on with the conversation, right? Let's get on with it. Let's not state the obvious here. Piece of metal all the way. I feel like there's a time in gaming when you had to have a sewer level in your video game. You had the obligatory sewer sewer stage, just like you would have the obligatory ice stage, ice world. shot It's not the most accurate pistol. Yeah. Just my own aim, maybe. Pretty sure I got him in the face. Oh, 
Oh, it didn't, it didn't hurt anyone. Oh, my goodness. any ammo but I'll pick up oh okay may as well pick up grenades and I'm already full up on grenades anything I don't think there's anything on this walkway but I'm compulsively checking anyway I think we're good I think we're good no uh, audio log no audio logs okay all right all right Captain Titus, completely unfazed that he's on his own right now. Spice Marines! I'm beginning to think they did some focus testing and the feedback they got from players was that there wasn't enough ammo so they just litter the levels of ammo pickups. Oh my goodness. Had the wrong weapon for that situation. but the same amount of time as switching to the stalker bolter and peeling off a shot. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh shit. Jesus Christ, I'm really rusty. I am so goddamn rusty. It's like, oh, let's do a charge attack. Immediately get snagged on geometry. <laughs>
Oh, he grabbed me. Here I come. I'm gonna kill ya. Gotta say, that doesn't happen very often where this enemy grabs me. I'm reminded of how how much that sucks. A nice bit of inertia when you come to us when you try and stop sprinting. Oh, I hear something. What's that sound? I feel like that sound indicates. Does that indicate audio log? I think it does. I then go into this tunnel and there's actually yeah, here we go. Yeah. I was right. For days I tracked that signal coming from beyond the sun. I didn't tell trans mechanic first class Alaric because I didn't want to be ridiculed. And today I heard voices. The signals in a Borg fleet heading straight for Grya. That's when I told Alaric. You should have seen the shock on his face. If he'd believed me a week ago, we would have had that much more warning. He was wrong. I was right. Finally. Oh, finally. Won't anyone listen to me? Escape the sewers. Got one. I used a lot of grenades, didn't I? Yes. Well, I will hit you eventually, despite my poor aim. Well, here's something. To, to avoid uh, having to uh, wouldn't deal with the inertia, you just pull back on the uh, stick, and you just. Oh shit! Oh my goodness! Yeah, I was just practicing my my mobility, and I mobilityed right into a exploding guy. Oh my goodness, that just turned into like the biggest F you. I was supposed to f execute you and then you reversed it. Turns out I have poor aim with a shoulder charge, if you could believe it. I really like this stock of Bolter, but the game's telling me I need the Meltagun now, so may as well. Meltagun unlocked. The Vulcan assault pattern Meltagun fires a scorching plume of molecularly agitated heat at close range. 
This power comes at the expense of low ammunition stores and a long recharge between shots. Right, Chucky the Fire. I love that. A scorching plume of molecularly agitated heat. <laughs> Is your heat agitated? Extremely. Oh. It's basically the shotgun of the game. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, what a waste. Then that means to activate my uh, fury. That sucks. Doesn't seem to the ammo ref, refill doesn't get back uh, Milta ammo. That's what it seemed like. dressings. I haven't even begun to treat the new burn victims yet. You can't treat them. Give them something for pain, but that is all. I am the Magos Biologus. No wound or malady is beyond me. You are in a triage situation. Observe, analyze, and decide who we can save. Exactly. saying believe it or not when I first started uh, testing this game at relic the um, glory kills or the executions we'll call them executions they did not give back health I'm trying to remember what the incentive was to do the executions, but uh, yeah, actually, uh, they didn't get back health. So the combat felt a lot more one-dimensional in the beginning. It felt a lot more like... You have to understand that during this time, Gears of War was the shit. And the fact that there's no sticky cover system was almost seen as like a weird omission or like a feature that, you know, was being ignored. Whereas like obviously the uh, philosophy behind this game is that you're a space marine, you don't take cover, you, uh, you, <laughs> you be defensive by being more offensive, right? And so the shooting was kind of like very one-dimensional because you weren't 
trying to be tactically taking cover, and the melee was very button mashy, and it just felt more like, for me anyway, it felt like more like playing a Dynasty Warriors game where you're just wading through a bunch of fodder with no regard for really any tactics or strategy. And then they added the health gain on executions, and that really, that, that one small change it actually made a big, big difference. Adeptus Astartes recognized. Access authorized. And it's a mechanic that later games borrowed from, such as Doom 2016. Superior Fury. The Fury mode now drains Fury significantly more slowly. Use the advantage, use this advantage to destroy the enemies of man. <laughs> capital E, capital M. Good stuff. Oh, there he is. <clears throat> See you later. We're in the kisser. He's smart enough to dodge the uh, plasma pistol. This is good. Shields return. Shots in the gut will put him down. Come on. <laughs> oh shit. Getting flanked. Gunners are so annoying. Most annoying enemy in the game. Oh, that's a nice bit of gibbing. He went in an unexpected direction. Green skins are cute. They're the little guys who could. Inspiring. 
<laughs> we got superior fury now, but I should still use it wisely. Alright, looks like uh, it's fairly methodical in, in that section. Oh, bro. Captain Titus. Well met, brothers. Any idea of our position? We should be nearing an access point to the surface. The air smells a bit cleaner. I've had enough of tunnels. Let's get out of here and find the Inquisitor before the orcs do. New objective rendezvous with the Inquisitor. that i think this is a nice place to stop and end off this episode of space marine we are still in heart of darkness i will continue this chapter on the next episode i want to thank you all so much for watching do not do not forget to like please consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy video game content and you know what? I appreciate you for being here and for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, and I'll see you later. Bye for now.